After 18 months of total isolation, it seems like everybody wants to throw a reunion. This past month, I went to three reunions and something new happened. An old childhood friend of mine pulled out his phone and he started showing me plant pictures. He said, hey, ever since the pandemic, I discovered I've got something of a green thumb. And he's showing me his magnolias, his grapevine. It's like they were pictures of his kids or something. So I have to tell you, I was really encouraged because plant parents are real. And here on our plant show, we talk about plants. We look at plants, we look at pictures of plants, we look at films about plants. Hey, if it has anything remotely to do with the culture of horticulture, we're going to want to talk about it. We want to look at some plant photos. Our friends send it in to us, or Kendall goes out and takes yes. them. Matt, send us some photos. I will. And we like to look at them, but I don't want to mock. No. Right? There are things that we laugh at, but We've been there, right? Oh, yes. Absolutely. It's a process. Right, but <laughs> it's never too late. Always, yeah. It's never always, too late to it's start. It's always a work in progress. Now, it's too late right now to get something that looks like this, though. Isn't that stunning? Oh, man. I did it that is. for you. Now. It looks good. <laughs> Immediately, the OCD goes to me and wonders where our lines are. <laughs> uh, but it, it's right, absolutely that, gorgeous. It yeah. is. Um, it's very stunning. And in fact, I have the same at my house right now. I did the same New Guineas on the side. It was the pink that looks and white. Isn't that nice? Isn't that pretty? Love it. Very happy. What do we got going on here, Kendall? So we are trying to contain this incredibly large, fast-growing, <laughs> amazing plant, <laughs> Iliagnus, which sends out these amazing runners. That's right. And um, it's a it's a wonderful plant. There are times where we're trying to, to put plants in a ball. But at the end of the day, who wins? You it see, wants to grow. Yeah, naturally, it, it goes to grow. back to the right way. Uh -huh. It does. Now here's another oh. where it's not getting the sun it needs. That's my first thought. Is or the water because we have we have we have yeah. right. dominant trees in the area. Maybe some mulch would help. Yeah, but, but <laughs> we look. are we are pruning. What I love to see is right. someone's trying. They're trying. It's yeah. time. It's never too late, but it is too late for those. It is. They need to come out. It's, it's not too late for the landscape. Oh, no. but for those plants, it's, just, it's yeah. just a good opportunity now to put something. Just try something yep. else. It's time to move on. Ah, right. huh. that makes makes me happy. Reminds me of my grandfather's yard. Those plants don't want to be there. No. So it's okay. There's nothing wrong with no. that, but they do not want to be there. No. <laughs> this is not where they want to be. No. So. But plants, they might make them just as happy. It, you know, right there under the shade. Right there. Yeah, like. They look happy. Oh, no, the owner. <laughs> not the plants, unfortunately, this time. The owner is just <laughs> so happy to see their cactus there. Okay, this, is, this just makes me smile. Because they're they're obviously very, very well straight boxes. You know? Very well, yeah. they're they're they manicured. Oh so yeah. So the good, the bad, and this is the really really fun. bad. Okay, fun. so um, fun. That's actually poison ivy. No, it's not. Yes, yes, sir. That is poison I see ivy. Five leaves there. There are. So it's, it's not all of it. It's poison not. Ivy. There's multiple vines in here. Yeah. Um, <laughs> right. There's a there's a plethora. Um, it's it's. Uh, Vine but it is taking over. Hey, I mean, he's got the trailer right I there to get some work done. There you go. Rip it out. Oh, I was like, that's fun because you're about that's to get a piece of machinery yard. in there and yeah. get that cleaned up. Yeah, that's the front yard. That's the front Hello, yard. Hello, mailman. <laughs> <laughs> welcome. Look at that mailbox. No need for a welcome, Matt. Yeah, there's your, there's your. Yeah. I wonder if the mailman has also taken a picture. Is that uh, it's going I over? Wonder. It's going over. We, you know, we've talked about gutter this gardening. Is unbelievable. This is going over the house. I know. Mm -hmm. That roof is. That was Virginia suffering. Creeper on the side yes. of the house. Um, yeah, that's, isn't that amazing? Oh but this going goodness. at the tree, that was all. That's all poison ivy. Oh, what a find! You yeah. found this? Yes. Is there I a challenge a anyone to find something? Bring it on. Can Someone we lives see there. an after shot? There, there, that it, was occupied. There, there was a car in the driveway. Yes. Will there be an after shot? Is someone working <laughs> on that? Was that what that trailer was? I, I may commence just in the middle of the night. Just kind of. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's not. Shh, shh, shh. Come on, man. I'll bail you out. Yeah. You know. Every week we take a look at where plants pop up in pop culture. Normally we're watching like a clip from a movie or a TV show. I have a few plant memes. Okay, this that is are great. On the internet. Therapist says having some plants around should help your seasonal affective <laughs> disorder. <laughs> oh yes. But we don't just have feelings. Plants have feelings that's, too. That's fantastic. 
They talk back. If you listen. <laughs> and when everything's gone wrong, at least you're That's exhaling. <laughs> it's a good day. It is a good day. Yep. <laughs> Thank you, plants. Oh man, please send us in your photos. They're, I'm, I'd like. I'm up for this challenge for that house. Let's oh. look at some plants. Plant versus plant. Okay, this is this is going to yeah. be fun. What you got for us? This is going to be fun this week. We all get this, which nice. is nice. Which is. Is this Hawaiian punch? Yeah, what? <laughs> <laughs> Don't drink it, sir. That is. These are all tropical. Yours hibiscus. looks glossy there. Check that uh -oh. out. And now oh, there's one we know. We'll put this on the stool. Maybe. Yep. Here we go. All right. Ah, uh, familiar face from the field. So my friend Matt, our wonderful perennial grower, grew these here at the farm. This is a perennial hibiscus. So plant versus plant, you guys. So what do you so think? These are not perennial. That these are correct. annual hibiscus? Yes. That is correct. So if we were to have freezing temperatures, and they'll be coming eventually. These three. When it gets hot, they're going down. If they're left outside, they're not coming back. Not even kind of, sorta. This guy, however, when the freeze comes along, he's gonna go down to the ground, fully dormant, stems right. and all, completely to the ground. And the next spring, when we are consistently warm outside, back he comes. And I like a, this one. Like a freight train, too. Very long-lived, so, awesome, awesome perennial. But you could take this inside. Absolutely. And then it... Wouldn't Absolutely. Die. Does it have a dormancy period? It will go semi dormant in your home. It can really be just be, it can be thrown into the garage. It just needs mm -hmm. to be kept from freezing temperatures. But I mean, they're going to have colors that perennial hibiscus don't quite have yet. They haven't quite bred oranges yep. and yellows into them. But also with the blooms, some of the blooms are much more ornate here on the tropicals compared to some of the perennials. Yeah, but you can the tell the size on some of these perennial hibiscus. So it's a Man. It's definitely. And the foliage on Pretty on because I like that. Wow. Look at this burgundy yeah, it's foliage. It's too rooted in. Isn't it lovely? They go fast. Yeah. That's a really fat root. It is. Yep. It's very fleshy, large. I noticed that as well. In our field, these guys wanted to root through our weed mat, which mm -hmm. is very surprising to us. Uh, that weed mat is pretty hard to get yeah. through. There's, <laughs> there's the example yeah. right there. Isn't that awesome? Yeah. So that's intense. That's an amazing root system. Very tough, hardy perennial. Isn't it great? It's just so, so profuse with the flowers. High biscuits. Beautiful. Biscuits. Just need two high biscuits today. <laughs> True story. Awesome. <laughs> so the, the difference in these, just color, or not yes. even. Are they yeah. all this? Uh, this is this a red. A this would be an orange. More of an orange. Yeah. And this a was, punch. How, how big will this little guy get? This would be a pink Hawaiian punch. These actually, this the Hawaiian punch series do not get very big. About two so to three dwarf. foot. Mm -hmm, okay. Smaller, smaller than some of them. Absolutely. So this is a really useful plant. It really is. It really. It has. I mean, the flowers Small just spaces. last a day, but it just is a blooming machine. So, are you ready to repot it? You saw when I pulled it out. I'm. Yes, I am. Absolutely. What actually, size are you going to put it in? Actually, I'd like to put it in the ground, frankly, so we can have room to grow and enjoy them. And How will that do over the winter for us? In the ground? It'll be done. I'll, I'll grow it as an annual. Gotcha. Be done. Yes, ma'am. Opportunity to plant something. There else you go. So we've been having some rain. Oh, yes. Some good rain. That, that's Wonderful true. Wonderful rain. Um, but it brings but, on, it brings with it mild weather and and water and and humid temperatures copper and fungicide copper fungicide good yep. old this is organic safe to use um i still like to spray anything later in the evening yes mm -hmm. yeah never like to spray during the heat of the day never so because yeah, you, you don't want to do any damage to your plants they can it's be oil based and burn your plants up so yeah. Kind of like if I put baby oil on and laid in the yeah, sun. sun and just basking <laughs> in it, yes. So that's I, a, I mean now copper. I mean that's an old safe one. I think I'm really for something like that because, like we said, it is kind of for the organic gardener. I mean here at the farm, we do. We use, we definitely mm -hmm. do. Um, it's an very arsenal of yes, products. we do. But this one's very cost efficient too. So on our scale, when we can find something like that, that's, and it works, that's it a go, that's a go to. Also. So, 
Yeah, not just, I'm saying, for organic side, for homeowners, even for us on large scale, mm -hmm. this is such a good product, so. Um, using it as a preventative is helpful, too, on plants that you know you have Coming a consistent mm -hmm. problem every year. Rust spots. Everything. Rust spots or a shot hole mm -hmm. or things like that. You know, you go ahead and, and let's, let's get it on there. Mm -hmm. Let's stay ahead of the problem. The number one thing you can do with All the right. plant, Preemptive. stay ahead. And you don't need as much. Wall worthy. Uh, that, yeah, wall that worthy. one, that's right. definitely Very going good. on the wall. Very good. I think it's going to go over here behind you, Mr. Matt. Yep. There you go. Looks good. All right. Oh, inside, inside voices. And we've already looked at. I've been getting better at this. Tropical hibiscus. We did, but it's there's kinda, more. Oh, there's more. All right. There's always more. Sock right. it to me. Okay, actually, it's, it's right beside you today. This guy? It's a hanging oh. basket. We had not done a hanging basket in here, so we thought we'd have a little fun. We all don't have room on our shelves and tables, so we have room to put a hook up in our house. So this is a type of Boston fir. Isn't that nice? The Southern Porch Classic. Isn't it nice? Uh, but I like this one because it's, it's just a little frillier variety of Boston fern. Not okay. Not as glossy. I love it. It does seem a little bit, my How? sister used to cover her porch in them every yeah, year. And that one does classy. seem a little How bit old different. Is it? How old is this yeah. guy? He would just be a baby. Yeah, this has got to be within this season. Mm -hmm. I mean, say within a year. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep, especially the production mm -hmm. side of this. This is going to be started early, cranked out. But you know, but it looks they're, great. They're it's a nice little package. It it's is. It's a nice it's little <laughs> package. They they look they look rather tender, but they're tough. I mean, they they're are. tough as She's nails. Right. Yep. And again, birds love them. That's what we've come to know. Make birds a nest in. Make a nest mm -hmm. in them. So. But in your home, what? Wonderful. And again, yep. we've discussed, you know, every plant would really, if you can, prefer to be outside enjoying this wonderful heat and humidity we're having yeah. now in the shade, right. shaded from the afternoon sun. But it can tolerate that for mm -hmm. you inside. So that's, it's good. Wonderful plant. Really, really pretty. I just think she's very sweet. Boston fern. Hanging basket. Beautiful. Nice. Plant Pop makes a film almost every week. Awesome. This one comes from Arizona, and it's a sculptor. That's really cool. Wonderful. It's about four or five minutes long. I cut it down to just a little taste, okay. one minute. Okay. okay. I'm a sculptor. I use reclaimed organic material. There's this bounty that nature is providing. There's this material everywhere that people like myself were just taking for granted. As I root around half buried things and discover literal buried treasure. There's such joy in that find. Uh, my mind can, have been, can immediately start spinning up what to do with this, how to use this, how to best memorialize the gifts I'm being given. What? That's it? That's it. You gotta go to the website, plantpop.com. Check out the We'll put a link in the description for you to... You're just teasing us. See it. Yeah, we'll I was actually right thinking, now. was that one minute? That was one. That was a good taste, though. Did you go see last week's episode I, of the plant I, show? I will confess, I was trying to listen, but I was focused on those cactus. I mean, yeah, that was, that was beautiful. Hear, I, was, right. <laughs> I was just like, what? Wait. I'm going to so check that out. Okay. Is it? Was that a show? Yeah. That's a show. I hear you. Did you dig it? Yep. That was not, that was very fast. Easy enough. Was it a good episode?